Many of you must be familiar with Meklod Ganj in Himachal Pradesh which is the house of the Dalai Lama and there's a big community of the Tibetan people who stay there since 1959. I got an opportunity to to see another settlement which is called Chandangiri in Odisha some time back and uh, this was a settlement which was uh, Uh, set up for the Tibetan people in 1963 for about 2500 refugees and uh, Chandangiri and the surrounding areas were previously a very dense forest and mainly the tribal stay there so now the Tibetan people have made Chandangiri their home and they named it Funsokling which means the abode of plenty and happiness so i am going to take you to a journey of this little tibet in odisha I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So I'm here in the Gajapati district of Odisha, which is about 270 kilometers from the capital Bhubaneswar. And right now I'm standing at the Padma Sambhava Mahavira Monastery <coughs> uh, over here, and uh, this is also called the Jirang Monastery. I'm on one of the sides, and you can see the prayer flags so this monastery is the largest monastery in eastern india so this was inaugurated in 2010 by his holiness dalai lama and uh, so actually when the tibetans were forced to leave their country tibet by the chinese authorities So there were six of these camps which came up in India. I was familiar with Meklod Ganj. I was familiar with certain other places. So I never knew about this place. So a few of the families they have been allocated the land. They are doing farming activities over here, and they have their houses, beautiful houses. And this monastery is you can see the beautiful monastery right over here. I'll take you to the front side from where you'll get a very beautiful view. So there are students who are coming from Tibet. So they get their training in the scriptures, Buddhist scriptures. They stay here along with the their teachers. They have the dormitories. You can see I'm just walking through this path where you can see the rooms beautifully rooms and they study the scriptures plus they learn the traditional crafts of Tibet also like tanka paintings metal work so it's closed right now I'll try to wait and see what can be we can see this is the front side i'm just coming to the front side now you can see some of the students they are doing some mischief i just heard some of them singing in these songs also so these are the rooms and that's the beautiful front side of the monastery <coughs> let me go at a distance you'll have a better view that's the view is it not beautiful there are so many hidden treasures here in odisha not just bhubaneswar so many temples buddhist monasteries ratnagiri udaygiri kandagiri so all uh, from 3rd century bc to you can say 13th 15th century so why don't you plan a tour with me let's explore odisha together 
when you enter the monastery there is a huge meditation hall and the walls are painted with beautiful paintings from the life of buddha at the center of the meditation hall is the statue of lord buddha and on both his sides there are two statues one is of lord avalokiteshwara who is said to be the bodhisattva who embodies compassion of all buddhas and the other side is the statue of lord padmasambhava the monastery is named after lord padmasambhava who is also known as guru rin rinpoche in tibetan it is said that he spread buddhism in tibet in the 7th century A close distance from the Jirang Monastery is Mahindragarh. Don't miss to see the beautiful statue of Lord Avalokiteshvara seated on the lotus flower and there are beautiful stupas uh, over there. Chandangiri is in the south of Odisha. In fact, it's closer to the city of Vishakhapatnam. Uh, you can drive from Vishakhapatnam and uh, come back in the evening and uh, the, you can even drive from Bhubaneswar it's about 6 hours drive there are small guest houses in Chandangiri where you can stay otherwise there are some cities which are close by from where you can visit Chandangiri within a drive of 1 hour or so uh, I hope you must have liked my small little video and please don't forget to put your comments in the comment box on YouTube. And my email and my websites are all written here, written over here. You can contact me anytime if you need any information. Thank you. Thank you very much.